Improve your health? Look no further. Visit www.sharonade.net where we provide healing beyond the prescription pad. We have hand blended teas and herbs that are going to provide you with ultimate immune health, cold pressed juices, as well as sea moss gels that are going to provide you with your daily vitamins and nutrients in just two tablespoons. Shop www.sharonade.net and receive free shipping on all orders over $75. Don't wait because a healthy life is ahead. What's up? What's up? What's up, y'all? How y'all bees? Did y'all miss us? I, I think you. I think you do, and I know you do. Okay. Now we are gonna go on ahead and sneak on in here and apologize for the twos a day. Okay. Yeah, but people be you know life be lifing for us, you know, and we can't come on here sometimes. When we got stuff going on, and that was a thing on Tuesday, so we are here though. We decided to do a little makeup session and come on in here and talk to y'all about the things. Okay, you know it's better to be late than never to show up. Yeah, at yeah, all. yeah, yeah better, better late than never. Okay, yeah, no, <laughs> it was it was my it was me, y'all. It was me. Okay, it was my me. Friend. I'm the pack. Okay. <laughs> But my friend Sean done shown up looking just as cute as she do. Don't y'all love her hair? She oh, just be looking you. so amazing. I love it. I love it. Oh, my, my triangle. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, girl, we going to talk about that when we get to that day. Going real housewives of a town, honey. But y'all, tonight... We have a full lineup for you, okay? And I know y'all y'all loves the Love and Marriage Huntsville. We're going to start out with that for you. We're we going to go ahead and do the right thing. Start on out with that. Uh, we, we're going to talk about also Miss Winter over there uh, talking about the look check, like Monique said. These, these look checks that Carlos King is handing out to have the people on the TV making a fool of their damn self. Um, we also are going to talk about the real house. What Sean, what done happened? Your video gone. You're my camera. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, there it goes. It's back up now. Uh, then we're gonna talk about the real housewives of Potompa to Potanka, as some people call it. Um, and how 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 what do we got to look forward to for the next season? Like I think they're going to struggle big time. Mm -hmm. I, I think they're gonna struggle big time. I concur. We're going to get into that um, and who I think the new puppet is going to be for season of the nine. OK, but y'all know how we do. We got to wait about five minutes before we get on up in here. So y'all get in here, get in here, get in here. OK, because we, we got a lot you. to talk about. We got a lot to talk about. And y'all, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and let you know. Um, I know who the two new people are. Yep, yeah. I know who two new people are. I love a married husband. And I'm going to give y'all their information. I found I found it. And I know the sleuths out here. Y'all going to be right up on that page looking it up. Okay, so just, just go on hang in there. But, Sean, uh, what, what you got going on, friend? What, what that had happened? Girl, what had happened was <laughs> friend is tired. Friend yeah. is. <laughs> nah, but seriously. Ain't so much going on, y'all. Um, seriously, freaking be right. It be so much going on. You try not to miss certain moments and try to be available. Okay, I have a question for you. While we wait for the people, let me ask you this question. Okay. Do you find it hard to say no to your friends, family, because you're trying to create a lane for you, what, or whatever the case may be? Like, what are your thoughts on that? Um, 
you know what? I always use the excuse that I probably already am doing something and I definitely don't want to do what they're asking me to do. So I will make up, uh, I'm the queen of, I will make up some shit. Um, yeah, I don't want to do what you're asking me to do. Hey, but what if you don't mind doing it? Like, what if you like, this is, I, this sounds really fun. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I never really want to, I, I don't want to do it. I, I want to go home. I want to go home. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> but I, okay, I get what you're saying. So I do, I I'm going to be truthful with my friends uh they will ask me to do things and it is going out to eat or more recently i had to deal with that actually i've been eating all raw <laughs> foods this week oh and, uh, yeah I, i've paid my tithes to the toilet um <laughs> but yeah i've been drinking <laughs> testing out my juice cleanse my juice detox that i will have out for y'all i told y'all i was gonna have it out this week it works child it works I'm going to let you know that your sister girl is six pounds down. Okay. And I'm eating food. All right. But I digress. So, yeah, just doing that. But my friends love to go out and drink and mm -hmm. eat. I told you I spent way too much money on food. So I, <laughs> I never can say no. So if right. one of them calls me right now, I'll be like, girl, where we going? They got parking because mm -hmm. they got valet because I'm going to be there. I'm going to be on time. I'll, I'll get the table. Like, mm -hmm. so it's hard for me to say no because it's things that I want to do, but I need to be doing so many other things. Right. You know? So that gets in the way of, of my time for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. throw that in chat and y'all let me know what y'all think. Just something to throw out there. Um, Trying to get to a more disciplined life. Yeah. I'm just kind of wondering, you know. You know what? Um, Today... <laughs> I went to the gym during the day and, and that is just so not common for me. So I said, I need to work out more, like do more, like I do a lot of cardio, but I tried Pilates mat today at the uh, one life fitness, the gym I go to. And um, I took my lunch break at the gym and I'm like, people really be in here. This is the time when the housewives and the rich people go to the gym. I, I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and take my phone up out of here and I'm going to come back after five with the regular uh, brokies like me. This ain't my time to be in here. Uh -huh. Not brokies? I, I seen some of my friends in here. I said, oh, bitch, you is living. Okay. I said, how often do you, how often do you do this? And my friend, she was like, oh, no, I come, I come every Thursday and Friday at this time. I have, I take the Pilates class at 1130 and then um, sometimes I'll do a little boxing and I'll do I'm like, man, what the fuck do you do for a living? Cause right, uh, you in the gym all day? Yeah, because girl, I, I'm over here praying my boss don't find me and I don't get fired. Like, the, like mm. yeah, I said this is the rich people and the housewives time to be going to the gym, honey. This ain't this ain't my time. I don't belong here right now. And I felt it in my spirit. I said, girl, you got to get the hell up on out of here before you get fired. That's what you need to do. Because you got to go to work. Okay. You work. Yeah, you in here doing Pilates and and doing all this. No, you find a class after six with the common <laughs> folk. That's what you do. Not the common mm -hmm. folk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I, that was my experience. All right, oh, we yeah. go ahead. Excuse my popcorn. That's all. No, girl, please listen, because um, <laughs> I'm about to find me a dag on snack because we're about to get into it. Okay. Y'all, I done found the Love and Marriage Huntsville new couple. Okay. I know what you likes. I know what y'all want. Okay. So let's just go on right on up, up in there. Okay. Let's let's do this. It might cover us up, Sean, but I don't okay. know. Love and marriage huntsville, child. What would be revealed? What would be revealed? Nothing. The lies they tell. Not a daggone thing. Unless y'all talking about the stuff that Martel has been doing, uh, whether he going to the crazy town or not. Or whether he's going to stop taking mail to court for frivolous BS. Whether he's going to stop playing with Mel's life and the children. Okay. I don't, don't reveal, I don't care. I don't. And what is this, what is, what do you have on Kimmy? That's what I need to know. What, what is, what in the angel wings flying out your ass is going on here? She, she needed a little train in her life. Baby, it took her long enough to get the train for the wedding. 
Now you just don't think she even had a train for her wedding. Child. It, it, it's looking terrible. What are you and Maurice going to talk about this season? That's what yeah, I want. Well, what is y'all's story? Can I we talk wanna... about the looks? Yeah, we're we going to talk about the looks. But I, I really okay. want to. I really want to know what the hell they going to talk about because Maurice, I don't want to talk about you getting them gas station pills to get your dick hot. I don't want to talk about none of that. I don't care. But yeah, these outfits, Martell looks like a bellhop that decided. We do. This all white is horrible. It's trash, bro. Trash. It is. This white, white, are you the butler? Like, what are we doing? Yeah, what are we doing? He look like he about to park my car. This is horrible. Who yes. thought this was a good idea for you to be an all white? And I think it messed up the picture. It did because and it's, in the case, I think they should have centered him. He he got on yes. all this white, and you sit in this. Mm, are you the bride? Like, what are we doing? Well, he do act like a bitch, but um, that's that. It's giving this my show, y'all. I'm the bride. I'm the uh, headline. Mm. Ain't nobody come see you, Otis. Well, he maybe he wanted to, maybe he wanted to match his straight jacket and the pillows in the room that he gonna be living in for the next couple of months if he don't get that damn evaluation allegedly. I've been saying I saw you do a video on it, girl. Yeah, what the, this man done, done? Child, he need to he need to uh, he got to go get a psych evaluation and he been putting it off and putting it off and they prolonging the court date. So this is what the people's done said. And oh. uh, yeah, he ain't doing what he' supposed to do. So if they he don't get the evaluation, then uh, they're going to put him in in Crazy Town. Wow. The, uh, yeah, uh, I'm 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 over it. I'm really. Oh my really God. Over it. My thing is, y'all keep allowing it to happen. So at this point, just gonna lock him up. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Um. Inez Martin says, hey, guys, Kalani is in the building. Evening, Hi. everyone. What's up? Sunshine Ray says, S.J. Renee Online in deep conversations with Sean. Good seeing you all. I don't get to come over much. Love and blessings. Yes, thank you for moseying on over here. We appreciate you, okay? Uh, we put that one up. Sunshine Ray's hello, hello again. Kalani Harrelson says, I'm also getting to the point where I'm like, peace out, Huntsville. Yes, we're going to talk about that, y'all. We're going to talk about that. Hey, Sean and um, Sean Shines. Yes, hello, Alpha and C. How you bees? Sunshine Ray says he looks like he's going to the prom. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I can um, like or something. Like, what are we yeah. doing? Yeah. Horrible. Like, he about to help them open the gates of, of heaven, even though he's going to hell. But Ooh. whatever. Ooh. <laughs> so, y'all, let's, let's talk about all the peoples, okay? We got... Um, I saw earlier on Stormy's page... Her dress is actually not black. They yeah. edited that. It's actually silver. But mm -hmm. they probably like, girl, we said black and white. Don't try to be like Mel and do something different. You want to go get a badge of armor and put on this steel so that you, what are you, a Power Ranger, a, tur a Ninja Turtle, putting your shell on so that you can uh, bounce off of the people? Girl, listen. You Damn. you want to you want to try to stand out so bad, honey. You could have just got this dress in black. I I don't get it, but whatever, girl. Um, yeah. It's 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 giving blah even in the so silver. I did see her her um Instagram page, and actually my first thought I didn't know that it was edited. My first thought was I don't know why I thought this that she had two dresses. Mm-hmm. That's what and I thought she, too. Yeah, and she went with the black one because she like that's what my thought. I don't know why y'all, but that's where my mind went. I didn't think that it was edited. Um, yeah, I have it, no huh. Let me see if y'all can see it. This is yeah. the silver dress versus what she has on in this picture. And I hate it. Because even the picture, it kind of looked a little different. Versus yeah. what she posted on Instagram. So I was thinking that, oh, she just had two different, I don't know why I thought that, but that's what I was thinking, y'all. <laughs> yeah, because she looked like, here she put them side by side, if y'all can see it. Mm hmm She just looked like um okay. Storm. She looked like uh, X-Men from Storm, uh, Storm from X-Men. Yeah. I, I don't, 
I'm like, yeah. okay, like that's what Drew said with that mullet. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, baby, what? That that went out of out of uh style with wrestling. Yeah, let's let it go. Yeah, let's let it yeah. go. It's got it's a it's a no for me, dog. Yeah, I'm, I'm, with you. But... I'm good. I'm I'm good on it. Thank you. I'm I'm with you, chasing dreams. Hey, ladies, oh, and Stormy and that mullet is a no. Right. Her hair is giving hillbilly prom. Child, she just want to be seen. What is that pose Martell is doing? Let, let's talk about the la pose there. Why do you have Martell next to Melody? We know they didn't take that picture me. together. My next question, why are they keep like literally pairing them together? Like we understand they mar was married, got kids together. Baby, I could have threw him on down there with Destiny. Like right. so why isn't it, they're not a couple? No. And I think they need to stop insinuating that it's a possibility for the people who still think that they're gonna get back together, child. Wow. Like let right. it go. Yeah, I think it's very disrespectful for Carlos to keep on insinuating this. And his whole thing is, oh, I don't, it's not everything, it's my fault. But you know, everybody's going to blame it on me because it's a Carlos King production. You got to approve this stuff before. I don't want to hear that right. bull anymore. Like, stop lying to us. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of it. The I love everybody and I'm everybody's friend. And the, the, you're, you're a liar. Yeah, you, you tell me you call me a me a be lying. No, nigga, you be lying. Okay, yeah. all the time. Sick of it. Sick <laughs> of it. Okay. Um, it's looking like Mel and Stormy had on the same outfit, sort of. Yeah, but Mel's I don't like, like the latex plastic look. I don't, I don't like, like I was just getting ready to say that Mel looks like she got the toughest, um, the thickest meal and shiniest of trash bags. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't like yeah. the bag look. Mm -hmm. And usually Mel eats every time. But well, no, that reunion dress, she's been on a little bit of a little bit of a little, <laughs> little spiral. Uh this is this is strike two, Mel. I, I'm not liking this. I don't lack this. Okay. And I don't like the wet hair look. Because I didn't even like it on Wendy. When Wendy did it, yeah, I don't like that. It's giving wet, but it dried up, so it's a freeze at this point. I don't like that. Like, yeah, I don't. Y'all look. They look like they just dipped their head in the shampoo bowl and came back up and went. Yeah, on. Yeah, and it dried and got stiff. Yeah. I do not like it. I I was mad when Wendy did it, and now Mel doing it. It's a no. I don't like that look. Period. Yeah. Um, but her and her and Stormy's look does look very similar. Mm -hmm. Sunshine Ray says Stormy needs to leave the show and go focus on her business. I a thousand percent agree. I agree with that too. I'm not mad at that. Absolutely. I think Stormy wants to be like she needs attention so bad. Like if you are so very rich, bitch ish, why do you need to be like why? Because fame is one hell of a drug. And it is. Girl, let it let it burn. Let it burn. Go oh, cash Lord. your checks, live your life, run your business because you would probably make way more money not being on this show because nobody likes her. She's not likable. Yeah. So you yeah. are really tarnishing your image being on here trying to I be agree. seen. Like I, like I, I keep on saying, Kaleidoscope, BB Judy, the best example. She was in the spotlight, but not because she was trying to be seen. She was putting her products out there with celebrities. Now yeah. she's behind the scenes. They do have a they had a reality TV show together, but she doesn't have to be seen. Yeah, she, I agree. She is rich, very, very rich. Okay. I agree. Uh we go oh, we're gonna talk about that, Kalani Harrison. Who was that in the lower <laughs> row? We're gonna get to that baby. I got you. I got your friend. Okay. Uh Tisha and Marceau. Um Tisha, very regular. Rare, very regular. Oh my God, regular. you took the friend. We be here. I'm yeah. like, can Tisha do something different? Yeah. I want very. Tisha to definitely step outside her comfort zone. Yeah. I really want her to step outside. Even with hair, with makeup. Yeah. I need her to step out, take a chance, and do something. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least she did go a little shorter. We've Either she's going to have really long hair, and that's it. Yeah, well, her hair gonna be braided, so I'm not mad at her kind of going up, but I really wish that she would have pushed the envelope or have her stylist to push it a little bit more. 
I would have yeah. loved to have seen a blunt like bob on her and let it be short. Yeah, it's giving she Carlos. It safe. It's giving Carlos only pay you twenty five hundred dollars an episode. Mm. We going there already, free? <laughs> yeah, cause y'all is. <laughs> it's giving very broke. It's it's giving very brokey. Not I went to Macy's and I went to the prom section and I have got to save my coins because Carlos isn't paying me enough. So I'm going to get this basic dress and I'm going to look basic next to my bad bitch of a husband because baby them hips. It's giving Nordstrom Rack. It's giving the Macy's. Yeah, Macy's probably cost more than Nordstrom Rack. I was trying to give her a little leg up. I you think know? see. I think she went up to the Nordstrom level. I, I don't think it's Macy's. Mm. The third floor is that the level we? <laughs> <laughs> Child, it's it's given no. It's it's a no for me, dog. Um, and Mark, so what are we doing with the released? Do now, you? I, not I actually like his uh, bow tie. I actually like it. It's given. I don't know how to tie a bow tie, and I thought this was going to be cute. So I'm gonna... I actually like. Now wait a minute. We've seen a lot of men do their poses, and their bow tie is untied. I mean, he's not giving sexy when he do it. I th this is what I think he was trying to go for a sex appeal look with it. That's why he got the light skin pose going on. Yeah. But it's not given, but I'm not mad at it being untied. Like he lost some weight, actually. He need to. Oh, thicker than a snicker ass. He looked like he lost. Right. Or they edit the heck out that picture, but mm -hmm. he looked like he yeah. lost some weight. I agree. He need to lose started on his hips. But I ain't mad at the untied. So y'all, who uh who does Harpo? This is Kenneth and Latricia Lee, okay, uh, aka Trisha Lee, okay. Um, apparently, allegedly, uh, these are friends of destiny. I'm gonna tell y'all what oh, I think. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all what I think. Let me, I'll tell y'all what I think is going on here. Now, y'all thought that it was these two, it is not. Because when I didn't see the beard and I saw the darker skin on the Kenneth guy, I was like, that ain't Moses. But this is Moses and Sonny, which Moses was the ex of Destiny. And Sonny was supposedly Destiny's friend and the producer, for her producer on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Sonny used to work on the show as a producer. Um, but she's no longer obviously there. But I guess she decided, hey, I'm going to turn my producer check into a cast check that is less than $2,500. I'm going to keep talking about that. Hey, guys, uh, yeah, $2,500 a week? Uh, no shade, but I make more, more than that every week. That that's, that's a little sad. I got the right to popcorn for this show. <laughs> the right snack because i'm popping the popcorn i need to have a double good popcorn for this here because this right here yeah so yeah these people decided allegedly to move from the detroit and come on down to the huntsville for that less than 2500 a, a week uh episode check and um Make a damn fool of theyself, because that's exactly what y'all gonna do this season. I'm pretty sure. And Destiny, you are a whole idiot, because there would be no way. Now Carlos didn't want you to come back off of the strength of your story by itself, because you're so compelling, which I mean ass. Uh, he wanted to come back so you can look like a damn fool. Yeah, because that's what you're gonna look like when these people get on here and annihilate you, because you're stupid for her job. Babe. That's fine. People in hell ask for ice water, I'm sure. Well, like, I'm sure they don't get it. Okay. Carlos, Destiny did not, we, we did not ask for her. But you know what? You do a lot of shit that we don't ask for. So, hey, I'm pretty sure this is just another notch on your belt of debauchery and foolishness. Okay. So, we'll see what the hell is going to happen with this little couple here. I really don't care. Um, anything that is associated with destiny, there's nothing that's going to be interesting about these people. But they're not on the show, right? 
They are. They're going to be friends of. So that other couple, the, the yeah. picture that this picture here is main cast. But they oh. all want to keep the core six together because, you know, he just wants to keep this whole, oh, but the core six. That he wants to, you know, fool them in their minds. We're going to talk about this when we get to the uh, the interview with Miss Winter. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, he want, you know, Carlos like to keep a good illusion going. But, yeah, that's them. So back to these people, okay? Who is Trisha? Kenneth had a Instagram page, but he deleted it. Okay. Mm. Trisha is very, very fit. Go ahead and zoom in on that dag on Instagram, y'all. Baby, that body. I know you your body. Mm -hmm. yeah. Baby, body is bad. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Baby girl, ma'am, looks amazing. Now, she went to the gym at 11 o'clock. She did. She went at uh, 8 o'clock. She went at 11 o'clock. And again at 11. And then again at 3 o'clock. And then again after 5 to talk to the peasants like me. Um, yeah. Oh, baby, body is bad. Very bad. She looks on, amazing. Girl. Okay. Now, apparently she's 36. So she's younger. She's a younger girl. Um, like Gucci right there. Yeah, she does. But I want you guys to notice... Uh, a trend. There's somebody by the name of Destiny Payton that's liking all of these pictures. Okay. Just this is a trend. Just a little trend that we see in these photos. All right. Here's another one for you. Latricia's birthday. Okay. Who's liking the picture? Miss Destiny. All right. Now, what you have not noticed, or what you or may have noticed by now, Kiki Jabbar is not shown in any of this. However, oh, ma'am, who's commenting? Happy birthday, Trisha, on the birthday photo. Hmm. I bet Kiki didn't know she was getting replaced by Trisha. Maybe it's she didn't know she was getting replaced by Destiny. <laughs> yeah. And Maybe that part. Destiny. That part, okay? But yeah, y'all, that's that's the love and marriage Huntsville tea. Okay, I, I did a little a little bit of inspector gadget for y'all. Okay, but let's go on back here. Let me tell you what those pictures and shout out to TV Deets for these photos. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what this represents for me. The fact that Martell is still on the show, yeah, is a problem for me. Yep. The fact that Destiny is being brought back, but actually, Carlos, you're bringing... I don't like Destiny, but you're bringing her back to humiliate her. Yeah. Because you essentially are bringing her back to break her heart again. I'm sure she was really feeling Moses or whatever, but Destiny is so, I guess, money stricken. Like, she don't have no money. She needs a check. That you are willing to come on here and look like a damn fool. When and face <clears throat> your ex and his new wife, and she this lady was supposed to be your friend. Apparently, I was watching Color Me uh Pink's channel, and she <laughs> said that uh Moses and Sonny were actually prom dates, they went to high school together. <clears throat> so they this must be the scheme that Todd set up wow. to set us up for the bullshit. Okay. I I just unbelievable. But all of this, I'm going to wrap it up for y'all in a nutshell. They are bringing all these people on this show to get rid of Mel. Mel, I'm going to say this to you, sister friend. It's time to go. I don't know if God said go loud enough to you. <laughs> but baby, it is time to G-O, okay? <clears throat> get out of here. Okay, and I'm going to take this down so y'all can see me, so you can see how serious it is. Mel, you have got to get off this show. Seriously. They are bringing up the reason. I'm going to tell y'all right now, and Sean, you tell me what you think, friend. I think they're putting all these people on the show. They're putting them together to show, hey, we all can get along. It's Mel. She can't. She doesn't want to film with us, or she doesn't have a real relationship with us. She doesn't <laughs> like us, okay? Why is she here? 
we can film together. We're having a good old time. So now we get rid of Mel. She says, okay, maybe it is time for me to go. Let me go ahead and leave. In comes Gator Mouth and Miss Wanda coming on back. That's what I think this is being set up to do. Y'all are y'all are really trying to play games here. And, and I don't, this is nasty work. And I don't like it. What you think, friend? I see it two ways. One way I see it is I do feel like they need to shake up. Mm -hmm. so I feel like they need to shake up. I think they definitely need to add in some new blood. I've been saying this kind of from the beginning. Whoever they bring, I think they do not need to be associated with nobody on the cast. I think mm -hmm. they, they can come in, be neutral, mm -hmm. and they can decide if they want to sway to the left or sway to the right. The right. fact that Kiki and Destiny are up under the post to me, and that don't mean they know them, know them, you know, right. but I think it would be better <clears throat> for them to be like, Super new, don't know nobody. They just moved to Huntsville five minutes ago. Like, mm -hmm. and that's what they need. So I'm not mad at them adding a new cast because we do need to shake up. Um, I also feel like I don't necessarily agree with they're trying to push Mel out. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily agree with that. Only because um I think Mel knows she has that much power to where if she want to walk away, she can. And mm -hmm. I think that she also, and I want to tie that in with the winner situation when we get there. And I'm going to tell you why I'm going to tie it in. <clears throat> but I don't necessarily fully agree with they're mm -hmm. trying to push her out. I think that yeah. she knows she holds a spot there. I think she knows that... Um, they kind of walk into the beat of her drum, to be honest. You know, that's just me. I think she kind of knows that. I think, or but I, but let me say this too, and I tie, I say the last part for later. Um, I've always felt like it was time for her to go. I've, I've always felt. I've been thinking that since the season her and Martell did the trip together. Mm, mm -hmm. After that season, I'm like, why are you coming back? Like, wh why are you coming back? But I'm going to really bring that in full circle when we get to the winner situation. You know, I think that this is, this is nothing short of we want to make this lady as uncomfortable as possible because she keeps saying, God said go, no ho, it's go. It's when CK say go. And I'm going to make this so uncomfortable for you by rallying a bunch of people around you like this. That's just why I feel that way. And I hold true to, I think that this is definitely a scheme that's being set up to force her out. Um, they want her to just catch, just go and cash some syndication checks. Sis. Um, Go on, do what you got to do. That's what they're trying to force her to do. And I think that Carlos loves mess so much that in his heart of hearts, I think he thinks that if he brought old Dingleberry Brain, ass-licking uh, Curry, okay, on the show, that somehow that's just going to really make it, make it amazing. It's not. This girl has been trying to get on this show for ages and she's given us nothing for free on Instagram. So right. I would not want to pay her not one red cent to come on here and look even dumber than a box of rocks. Because the problem is what people don't understand, Carlos, you should know this. You interview a lot of Bravo people and they're making obviously a lot more money than these people on Love and Marriage Huntsville. I'm going to keep on saying that because you guys are stupid as fuck being on this show, getting paid pennies. Y'all look dumb. And I hope you hear me loud and clear. You look dumb as hell getting paid $2,500 or less per episode to look like a fucking fool. Because that's what all of y'all look like. Dumb. But moving on. Let so, me ask you this. <clears throat> you said to bring on Curry, right? I feel like he... Let, I don't think he'll bring her on for a lot of reasons. But I do feel like if he really wanted to play the game and because I want to push her out without pushing her out and let me blame it on the fans and say, guess what the fans want, I think he would have brought her on. 
I don't think he need new people or destiny to do that, in my opinion. I think he would have already done it by now. I don't think it's mm. for me. This is my opinion. I don't think it's so much of they're waiting for her to leave to bring her on. I think if the agenda is to get her out, just add on AC right now. But I think Carlos does a lot of shit that don't make no sense. Like not talking about uh, the stuff that's going, uh, pretending like he doesn't know. Like we're going to get into with Winter. Yeah. You pretending right. like you don't know what's going on with your cast, but you really do. He yeah. pretends to know things that he, he know. He, he yeah. pretends not to be in the loop. So he can pretend like, oh, I didn't know that you guys would be upset if she comes on the show. Because you think that that, you know, people don't know what they need. Let me bring it on here. Bring her on here and just test this. Let me just test this. I'm going to test this out. And to that theory, that's what I'm saying. I think he would have already done it. It would have been this season or last season. If but then he knows theory, that Mel wouldn't have filmed. Mel wouldn't have filmed. He's not willing to rock the boat to lose the viewers because he also is smart enough to know that most of these people are watching this show for Melody. They really are. As much as y'all sit up here and complain, the few little people that don't like her talking about some, well, what is she really doing? She ain't showing who she dating. But y'all be crashing that website, buying products and all in, up in the videos and her stories, watching everything she do and counting her breaths and um, counting uh, the hairs in her, in her um, uh, sideburns. Y'all love her. And I get it. I like her too. And I support her. Okay. So y'all are watching. I'm saying all that to say not to be shady, but to say they're watching for her. It is what it is. Some people have an unhealthy like for this lady. Um, but I digress. I want to address what Kalani Harrelson says. If they're getting paid that less of money, they're on there totally for exposure. Sometimes exposure is better than the paycheck because it can lead to other opportunities. Now that I agree with Kalani because my thing is, but, and, and I'm saying this, I'm saying what I said to say that people that look dumb getting that check, Martell, you're not using it, the platform to promote anything else. I, you get what I'm saying? Mel obviously is using this as another commercial for her other businesses. She will be fine after all of this is done and said and done because she is able to, she's utilizing the platform properly. I will even give a compliment to the, the Scots. They talk about their business on here, uh, Black, which uh, allegedly ain't open. Mm -hmm. You think you're slick. Y'all try to go ahead and get Funky Deneva to come down there and do a little shindig for you, knowing that damn bar is not open. Yeah, the content creators have spoken uh, behind the scenes. And y'all trying to uh, allegedly mute people and all this, that, and the third. They're saying, yeah, your bar has been closed, baby. That's what the people's are saying, allegedly, okay? Um, so y'all want to have Funky Deneva come on slide through and have a couple drinks and chicken wings to make it seem like your business is open. So to that point, with y'all sticking a bottle of chocolate in the bottle in every damn scene, the little $2,500 check, okay? Um, yeah, that's hoping you promote somebody else's uh, chocolate in the bottle because y'all don't own that either, just like you don't own black. Moving on. But I agree with you, Kalani. I agree with you. Um, but yes, it is... Uh, I, I still stand on... Why is Destiny here? What are these new people about to bring? Um, I feel like that lady about to lift the weight that she has, obviously, in her <laughs> muscle butt and stick her nose in everybody's business. I think she's about to try to show her ass to prove a point. I hope she don't. I just really hope that this couple is something that is going to be positive. And we didn't even talk about Chris and Nell. I, I, they're just... I like them, but then they're just doing so much stuff as this, you know, they're y'all are becoming get wits to me. I feel like Chris and Nell are becoming get wits, trying to be all up in the videos and be in the mix with everybody. And I get it. When you're on a cast of, with people, you want to get along with them, right? But again, y'all are people that I don't even see you promoting your daycare on there to get people to come to your daycare. Like, what businesses are y'all promoting to 
validate this little chat. I'm really upset that they're getting paid this little bit of money. I'm not even going to lie to you. That pissed me off when I heard her say that. I'm like, damn. I mean, Bravo is a bigger network, but I would have at least like at least $5,000 an episode, something. Yeah. So <laughs> let, let me say, <clears throat> yeah, I keep choking off. It was that, I was eating that hot popcorn. That's why I kept going <laughs> off y'all because I was choking. Okay. No. <laughs> but I Say this, I, I am so far removed from Love and Marriage Huntsville, I honestly cannot tell you what is going on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest here, and I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna be watching and tuned in. I will probably watch the clips when they come on, gather my thoughts, and say, Friend, hand me the clip notes and tell mm -hmm. me what you got. And I'll that's why I'm in with it because I do not believe that they're gonna bring in anybody. I would have been more interested if they would have got rid of people and mm -hmm. brought in more people. And I'd be like, okay, y'all trying to do something. Let me see what it's going to be about. But you're bringing the same people with the same storyline that's going to keep feeding us the same lies in the loop. Yeah. I don't want it. Destiny coming back is not a, oh my God, just ready to be fired. It's not. Mm -mm. Bring it on her. Boyfriend, not boyfriend, fiance, not fiance. Situation with his new wife ain't about to give. It's not because no. that's not even a main cast. So if this is not a main cast, when y'all going to fit in time for Moses to part the Red Sea? We won't <laughs> try to add it in because y'all have a new couple and y'all going to try to get them out there. Um, So for me, I'm going to be honest. Um, this does nothing for me. When I saw it drop on, I think Carlos posted it because I follow Carlos. And I was literally like, oh, okay. And I, it, it meant nothing to me because I don't feel like they're going to do anything. I'm with you, Brittany, the same people. Mm -hmm. And we're tired of the same stuff. Like nothing is about to come for me, in my opinion. If it changes, yeah. I'll let me know. Baby, I'm gonna watch what they're gonna put on the TikTok and on <gasps> Instagrams. And that's how they can put people. I don't know what else to say. I am not interested. I I don't even when it comes to I don't want to see male whining. I don't I don't want to see it. And to your point of the twenty five hundred dollars, and you said people are stupid, everybody under the Carlos King tutelage are dumb. And they fall for every single, nobody is exempt from this stupid statement. Because I would never understand how you can be in a toxic environment, people like you, you don't like the people, whatever the case may be, and you decide to keep going over there for why. It's costing you more money yeah, that to be them than it is not to be there. That is crazy to me. I'm yeah. so glad everybody needs to take a page, and I know this sounds bad. Everybody needs to take a page out of Winter Book and leave. Mm -hmm. Because, and I've been sh shouting this from the mountaintop who go and work in a place that you got to decompress from for six months and can't talk to nobody, but you go back and sign yourself up to do it all over again, like, and you ain't making no money from it. You're not making money from it. What are we doing? Mm. Now, Sean, I ain't going to agree with you on that little last little sentence now. You done went for my girl real fast, okay? Now, listen, I'm all for realism. <laughs> I feel like this. I get, I can, I, I receive what you're saying. However, the position that Mel is in is that she's created this show. Carlos King, no matter how many times he keeps on saying, I am the creator. No, you're not. No, you're not. Melody and Martell brought you their lives and you are capitalizing off of it affluently. And you are probably cutting their checks in thirds and cashing the check so that you can sit in your closet with 50 pairs of shoes in the background and do your videos every week um eastern standard time uh, uh central or whatever west coast standard time okay because you're in la uh flying everybody to la to do the reunions because that's where you live instead of coming to their area okay you want to be andy cohen so bad but i digress carlos you're full of shit 
Mel, you, I get it. You created this show. You feel like it's your baby. Hell, it is also a means of promotion. Again, I agree with Kalani. This is a means of promotion for her businesses and all the things that she's doing. And it has put her at a different level as far as with the public. But I do stand on all of that being said, it is coming to a point where it's like, okay, girl, depending on what happens this season, if it's still toxic, what's the, definition, what's the definition of insanity? Doing Thank the you. same oh thing over gosh. and over again. Thank you. Yeah. And that's the only thing I'm saying. And let me say this too. I feel like Melody is in a great spot. When I tell you her fans are locked in with her, mm -hmm. they're locked in. She's, yeah. let's be honest, she's not showing their business like that. Nobody is. Yeah. You can see them fitting in black, but it's not a big promotion. It's not a big whoop to do. It's none of that. And that's for everybody across the board. Mm -hmm. So I think the only difference with the Scott is because they have an actual brick and mortar so you can go and sit inside it and she does it. And same yep. thing with Stormy. She has a brick and mortar warehouse base so she can be inside it and Melody does it. Mm. But outside of that, she has the biggest <laughs> platform out of everybody. She got the biggest platform. And they so yeah. locked in with her, she can leave. Her sales are not going to drop. No, not but at she, all. I mean, she can take a sale and, I mean, do a promotion call and say, I left Love Man told me baby, you will be sold out. Yeah. They so locked in with her. She is in a great spot in her position that I feel like she can walk away. Walk away. I just want to know, is it worth it at the end of the day? That's my you know what I'm thinking about, Sean? Mel could walk away from this show and do reviews of the show on YouTube and she will make more money <laughs> doing that than she does showing up on the show. I just thought about that. The, that little check that y'all getting, she will probably make that in a month. Yeah. You're doing... What is it? Let's she has a great you would make way more. Like people would be so excited to come and see whatever she's doing. Like I said, y'all be raving about, oh my God, y'all see that toothbrush Mel use? Oh my God. I know it's amazing because those teeth, they wouldn't let a thing brush them that wasn't made of yeah. amazingness. But let's just do some math. Love and Marriage Huntsville seasons are typically about 18 episodes, right? So you doing like 17, 18 episodes. So that's $45,000. You can go season. be a teacher for $45,000. Exactly. But that's one season. Okay. But, and we're going to roll right into winter after that, right, with this, because I think it's a good segue. However, it's not really one season, it's season 1A, yes. 1B. But they're still getting paid per episode, nevertheless. So they're probably on four times a year. Okay. So let's go on and multiply that 45. That's $180,000 a year. Baby, why? Why would I do that? People getting paid that for their salary in DC. It is expensive as to live here. But that's a two income household right there. Yeah. So why are we doing this again? Humiliate and Stormy, you the biggest dummy. The to me. Like you the biggest dummy. Mel, at least this is her show. She created it. So I feel like she has a form of allegiance to it because it's her baby. Like she this is her show. But Stormy, you look the dumbest. You look the dumbest out of everybody because you're supposed to be a multimillionaire, but you accepting this little bullshit ass check. And coming on here and don't nobody like your ass? And I think that's where it step into where you want fame so much that it's the detriment of your own business. That's sick. That is demented. You want it that much that is you're killing your business. Yeah. Oh, we are out with it. I'm trying to say that. Your business because you want to be famous and you want yeah. to, and first of all, it's over here on um, Let's start there. 
Forget right. girls, forget who on the cast, who you like, you fuck the ball, it's on all. You're not on a prime time no. network. So the cards are stacked up against you there. Right. Okay. Now we have to add on that it's a Carlos King show where he's lost hundreds of thousands of viewers, another knock against you, and then you're going against their guy. I mean, their uh, person that they like. Right, so that's another <laughs> notch against y'all. So, you try to slide that in there real quick. You gonna me a lot for you, me. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Melody is my Nene. Okay, <laughs> don't do that. Okay. I ain't no Melody. I'm not a proclaimed Melamita, but that's my girl. Okay, I'm let you have it, friend. <laughs> I love it though. It's funny, but. <laughs> But, and, you know, I digress. I, I think that uh, all in all, this show don't know where they, they don't know where the hell they going. They don't know I where agree. they going. I think they're trying to throw whatever uh, piece of hot noodle at the wall that's going to stick mm-hmm. and go from there. Um, yeah, I really do think. And somebody said, I think I read really quickly, I have a strong feeling that season seven is Mel's last season. The number seven means completion. And I, I can agree with that. But we're going to talk about this again. We're going to segue into this now. Is that season seven, A, B, C, D? Are they going to drag it out to keep her on there? Because that's why they have these sectional seasons, because technically your contract is for a full season. So they can't renegotiate your contract if you're doing segmented seasons. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, Carlos King think he freaking slick, okay? Because CK is playing it by ear. Child, listen. All right, y'all. So let's go into, listen, sister girl, Queen Sheba. She did her thing on that interview. I love the fact that she dials in. Remember when she asked the question, Sean? She was like, so is that from the producers? Is that from? She dives right in. Like, ain't no... There is no room for you to trying to just tell me anything, right? So basically, y'all, and we ain't going to hold you too long with the winter of it all, but winter is not going to be returning to uh, next season of Love and Marriage DC because, and I agree with her and her reasoning, she felt like they basically made her out to look like a villain. Yeah. And knowing Winter's personality from what I've seen with her personally, you know, she posts a lot. She always going live, child. If you don't know her, I don't know how you don't because she always will make herself relevant. But Winter, amongst her revealing the, the very minimum wage that um, these people are making to look like absolute dastardly fools on the internet and, and TV every week, Saturday night at eight o'clock or nine o'clock. Um, she talked about the toxicity with Carlos King behind the scenes where he acts like he doesn't see things, but it's really stuff that's going on that he knows. And he is almighty and knowing what's going on. He likes to play these little games. Mm-hmm. So she talks about how uh, Monique um <clears throat> really rallied around getting her on the show because of the drama that she had going on with her marriage. And she hadn't been a relationship coach for a long time, but they tried to portray her as this person that has a terrible marriage. This is your second marriage. You don't even know this man and you're a relationship coach coach, and you don't even know how to handle your own relationship. When in reality, that wasn't the case. And I'm like, wow. So they latch on to a story And really try to make you look like what that is. So then she rolled into the the money aspect of how people be on here looking like they got a whole bunch of money and making it seem like they really doing this and doing that and they really not. But I think she was um, alluding to Arena and Jamie Tyler. But here's my thing with the Tylers and and anybody that has watched my um, Love and Marriage DC reviews, they have money. Um, Jamie has his business, his party uh, planning business. Um, Arena has been a top seller in It Works Global, which is a um, network marketing product, a weight loss product. She's been a top income producer in a company called Melaleuca. 
Okay. She doesn't talk about these companies because I guess that's not, you know, salacious enough. That doesn't look as amazing for her, the ways that she's making her money. And I know because I was on her team for both of those, those companies. So, uh, well, I was a part of her downline somewhere, but y'all, I ain't going into that network marketing ain't for you, girl. That's what birthed my business. I wants to do my own shit. I ain't got time for that, but she did really, really well with that. And Jamie supported her in those businesses um, and everything else. They have a they had a gym um, over in Capitol Heights, Maryland, that was did really well. They had a clothing store. They've done a they have money, but they also are very flashy. Like Arena will put on a whatever a Gucci this Gucci down to the socks type of. They've always been very flashy. Um, but any, anyway, basically, Winter was like, people be on this show just to get attention. And that's what it's given for Love and Marriage DC, Huntsville, and Chai. I ain't even give Detroit a chance to let me know what they're trying to do up there because I ain't watching. I but, ain't watching. Um, you know, I just love the fact that Winter was so transparent. And yeah. I hate it when she, it really bothered me when she talked about when they were yelling at her yeah. and the yeah. producer. Uh, on that uh, reunion when they were all coming for her and the producer in the background was like, get her, get yeah. her. And I'm like, Carlos, this is the type of environment that you're creating and you think that you you are just such big shit out here. No, nobody's going to want to be on any of your productions, especially, did you see that video that he posted the other day saying, hold on, let me find it. He was like, basically like, y'all don't tell me what to do. Y'all don't tell me what to post. And I can um, do what I want. Um, people, you're telling me to focus on my shows. I'm not. The Ooh. minute that he said that, I would never be on a show with him. Never. <gasps> he would come to me with a show idea that he's pitching. Number one, if I'm the network, I'll be like, oh, no, you posting videos saying you ain't going to focus on the show. So why should I give you my network um, to, to put your little Ponzi schemes up? Because that's what it is. It sounds like you just... Uh, pulling shows out your ass and putting them on TV and not monitoring them. Why would I do that for you? How is that going to benefit me? Then the people that's on the show, why would I sit up here and be on a show that you're producing and you're basically telling me that you don't care about me? This is this is the video. Hold on. The message of the day is real life versus social media life. This message was inspired by me seeing that Nicki Minaj Lies. sold out of 18 consecutive shows, and she has more coming. If you pay attention to what people say about her social media, you would think that would never happen. But in real life, everybody came out to support her. So that goes to show you, you cannot put inventory of what people say about you on social media, online, on the internet, when they gossip about you. You always have to remember that when they attack you, they secretly love you. No one who is doing better than you is ever going to attack you. That's never going to happen. They're too busy living life, working, working on themselves, having multiple streams of income, they're never going to attack you. The people who attack you, they're your biggest fans. They're the ones who give you the biggest engagement. There's people who's going to leave comments on this video that are going to throw me shade. And I love it. I'm never going to respond to people hating on me when people say, Carlos, focus on your own shows. Carlos, this and that. My response, I'm not. I will focus on what I want to focus on. I will do what I want to do. Okay? Always know this. When God positions you... Okay, now he want to waste our time talking about God. Life. You don't know the Lord, honey. You don't know the Lord. <laughs> anyway, he's talking about some... Y'all talking about, I'm not. I will do what I want to do. Oh, First wow. All, my thing is... You are focusing, you're, you have such PTSD 
from you being on Bravo. You want to be on Bravo so bad. But the reality is, Carlos King, you could create your own Bravo, but you don't focus on it and you don't nurture your own talents, your own people. He sits up here telling us, oh, I create millionaires. Not with that little check. Who's becoming a millionaire with that? That's why uh, Martel out here scratching and surviving. This is really a weird commentary yeah. that he gave on so many levels. But let's start with this, the one. Mm. Y'all heard me say this. I don't give a good doggone what Carlos talk about. Well, child, you want to talk about the sun, the moons, and the stars over there, girl. Child, do your thing. But I do feel like a, a, a line needs to be drawn. And I think that for me, when it comes to Carlos, you're always going to live in the shadows of Andy, even though you don't want to. But you're putting yourself in the shadow. I don't think no, the fans or your haters or whatever you want to call them are putting you there. You're doing it yourself because you're so fixated on Bravo and what they got going on. Stop talking about the fact that Candace got fired and your girl went to walk away. Exactly. So, you can't say this for sure that Candace was fired. Baby, right. part two, and I know we're going to get there. In my mind, Candace had already said, baby, I'm done with this. Absolutely. And yeah. even, <laughs> even Ashley, Ashley said it on the Fox 5 morning show or whatever here locally. She said, none of us have Nobody gotten got information. Anything. As to, she was like, that's why it's very shocking to me. And she confirmed. She was like, no, she definitely, hold she on, didn't on, say on, it. Go ahead. You got a troll. Oh. Let me see if I can. There we go. Yeah, we ain't got time for that. Yeah. What the fuck? You don't have nothing to do. <laughs> when I saw it, not Carlos coming on this way. I'm like, what the hell? And yeah. Get a damn life. Don't be in my chat with the dumb shit because you will get blocked and banned real fast. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I won't try to cut you off, but I won't. I didn't no, want them to make No, go ahead. You were talking, I think. Were you talking to me? I'm, uh, I'm sure. No, you were. You were. Oh. You were <laughs> I think with Candace, she definitely knew. I think that she knew right away when she was sitting on that stage. And I think Candace is pregnant. I'm going to find out from my sources. I but I, I think, think she's a little bit too. I agree. With yeah, I think she's pregnant and she probably like, you know what? I'm not about to be sitting up here with you, you bitches stressing me the hell out and y'all mm -hmm. using me for your storyline every season. Yeah. You lost your goddamn mind. I'm going to go through my pregnancy, happy yeah. as a lemur. And maybe, just maybe, I'll come back if I ain't feeling no postpartum after my baby right. is born. But um, yeah, she don't need to be on this show. That's a, yeah. that's a problem with a lot of people. And we'll talk about that when we get to the Housewives segment. I think a lot of people are creating this image that Oh wow, they need these shows because you know they're getting so much money. Are they making a lot of money from these housewife shows? Yes, but you keep forgetting the premise of a housewife is a woman that is a woman of leisure. Of leisure. You already yeah. have money. So this is just an extra notch on your belt. Again, using that reference a lot today, an extra notch on your belt of mm -hmm. amazingness, of of financial freedom. Okay. So yeah, I, I'm I, kudos to her. I'm glad that she left. I, I do want her to come back, but I think it would be so sweet when she comes back after this season. I think yeah. she needs to let them let them hang themselves. That's what yeah, I let them feel it. And I and the, and we were talking about the winter situation, and I think think the same thing with winter because she made a good point. Was I was never meant to be on the show. Mm -hmm. But this just shows her star power and star quality. But she yep. came in and left a splash that they was like, let me write you into the scene. Like, we never accounted for you to be in the movie, but hey, you did this so good, you got to go in and change it. So I think that is a lot to say for her that she just really out here doing the doggone thing. Yeah. And yeah. I think that I feel bad for her because I like the fact that Winter pointed out everybody. Mm-hmm. She pointed out, she, I, okay. I stayed in for behind the scenes for me and you. But I like the fact that she pointed out that Carlos played a part, 
but so did his producers, so mm-hmm. did the network, which is on, yep. so did Monique, so did, like, she listed all down and was like, no, it, it was everybody, you know, mm-hmm. it ain't just this one person, it was everybody. Yep. So I like the fact that she did that and they call a thing a thing. I think also when you're going into reality, and we haven't seen enough reality TV shows to know that, especially over there with the love and the hip hop, they weren't making no money either. No. And Mona, and I, that's why I don't understand why people be going so hard at, uh, at Carlos. But baby, Mona is doing the exact same thing. Did and still doing right now. Yep. Still doing it. That's where Carlos got it from. He got it from Mona Scott Young. So, he did. She was his. He was. He always talks about how that was. She. He's like her protege. But see, I think that everybody. And, and I don't mean to cut you off. I want to say this before I forget. Uh, people don't understand. Yes, you can see what somebody else is doing. Before there was an Ava DuVernay or Issa Rae, there was Tyler Perry. Okay, but. Did they do a chitlin circuit kind of deal like Tyler Perry? Okay. No, they made shows that actually were of substance. They yes. made shows that were compelling, brought us back every week and actually taught you something and mm-hmm. were engaging. The actors were good. Like not that were we, good. Yeah, the actors were good. The storylines were good. Everything was cohesive. It was engaging. You are not doing that, Carlos King. You want to you wanna be like Andy so bad. And Andy needs some work, too, because, baby, Andy, bro, oh, you and this not guy to give him a pass at all. Yeah, we ain't about to give you no, <laughs> nobody's pass, baby. Yes. But in the beginning, yeah, you, Andy did. There, This franchise has grown so much, and it was entertaining. You had a, you had a platform here that you've created that was damn good. It has yep. evolved into some bullshit now. But yep. Carlos, you're not, what are you imitating? Because Bravo, it is not. And it I think, not. and that's why I said that you want to do this whole little video about that. And y'all really like me, but y'all won't admit it. That's just bull crap. I, the people, if they could say it and get away with it, I think they will almost say that they hate you. I'm just going to call a thing the thing. So I think that's cute. And, and I'm not mad that you have to encourage yourself to get over the hump for all the stuff that is in there. I'm not mad at that. However, if you're going to do this to prove that I'm that girl or I'm that guy, I'm going to sail right past you to show you not only did I have it, I got it and I'm doing it better than you. Right. And that's how you do it. You're not doing it. Your shows are not excelling. Your shows are not moving past the post. You're stagnant and you're stuck. And as we just saw the Potomac, even though Andy waited too late to do it, however, he's like, we got to move forward. Mm -hmm. We Mm -hmm. We can't sit here and stay here. Again, I know I sound like a broken record, Reason number 95, why I would not be looking at Real Housewives of, I mean, uh, Love and Marriage Huntsville, but we still stuck in season four. We haven't yeah. progressed past season four. We're stuck. Yeah. You would have thought that Martel and Melody just got a divorce yesterday. Right. That part. But that's my yeah. two cents. Shout out to Winter. I'm glad she's leaving. I'm going to say it again. I think the people need to take a page out of Winter book and go on on their merry way. Yeah, she said that's community service, basically. She ain't. Pretty going. much. Like, she, she, was like, I make, yeah. she was like, I make more money than most of the people in the cast. She said Silver, the Silvers do well, but, you know, hey, she got money. She ain't trying to be out here flaunting it. And people might say, well, you live in a townhouse. So what? She might not want to that people spend their money on different things. Like I me and my husband make good salaries, but I'm not driving no Mercedes. Correct. My company car is paid for. You think I'm gonna go buy a car because that money I'm I'm saving? No. Thank you, company I work for, for mm-hmm. my car. I, I I don't uh uh-uh, uh I'm good with that. I'm good with that. And then our other car is paid off. Less bills. That's why people don't be having no money because you're spending it and wasting it on the bowl. Okay. But moving on. All right. 
let's roll into the love and marriage dc uh the last episode y'all i ain't gonna lie to you uh love and marriage dc this last episode with the trying to push this whole thruple with Carmen and stuff. Carmen, one of the biggest things about Carmen, you really tried it with Winter in this episode. You notice how Arena and Ashley were asking Carmen about the whole thruple situation and them saying that um on on in this Instagram story that Alicia was what did they call her? You didn't watch it. Oh, okay. Sidekick. They Don't tell her. nobody. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. So they called Alicia a sidekick, right? And then, oh. but you're calling Carmen a thru and them a thruple. Two and two uh, always going to make four. It's okay, Ashley, for you to talk shit about them and call them a thruple, but it's not okay for them to say Alicia is your sidekick. Throw the whole show away. I don't care. Y'all right. arguing over bullshit. You done came, Ashley, you done came to uh, Joy's birthday party. Okay. And you, Quick even told you, this is the first time Quick actually pulled his little uh, tiny pants up and wore them. And Not told her, I really think that you forgave Joy a little too fast from all that shit you was talking, basically. And there will be no way that you would be friends with somebody that has made it very clear that they don't like me. Because we come as a package deal. You done told this woman that you don't fuck with her husband, but you want to be cool with her, but you don't like her husband. That that don't make no sense. And that was the only thing I agreed with Quick on this, this episode. Because there is never a time well, you going to think you're going to be my friend and Correct. talk shit about my husband because I will beat your ass on sight. Baby, this don't play with my husband. <laughs> yeah, this don't play with my husband. Wrong. Yeah, no, we're we're not doing that. We're, we're not going to play with my husband ever, mm -hmm. okay? So, Ashley, the fact that you had the goal and all of that to think that you, were, you can say that to somebody and that was going to be okay. Like, she was going to be like, you know what? I'm going to go get a divorce just so I can be your friend. Girl, what? Right. What did you think was going to happen? So, what do you think about the Silvers leaving since Winter kind of dropped that little nugget in the interview? I don't think they're going to leave. I think Ashley loves the attention. I agree. Um, she, it's like you, we said earlier, fame is one hell of a drug. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I think that Ashley wants attention. She's not going to Potomac. They're not going to allow her on the show and seeing her on this show. I see why Andy doesn't want her yeah. on Potomac. You, you wouldn't bring anything. And you think that you're that girl. And most of the people mm -hmm. on that show, even Giselle and her hanging ankles, um has more money than you you think you that you the shit but you're not i think too she like okay i think she liked the fact that monique left mm -hmm. because he gave her a time to oh i can step up on the pecking you know chart and i'm up a little bit more so i, I don't think she's i would be shocked if Ashley and Quick left i would be really yeah. really shocked i don't see them leaving i think it's good bluff yeah to get Carlos' attention and the producer's attention, but I don't see them leaving. Especially, I can see Quick walking away. He was yes. like, get back to what I really want to do. I ain't really got to do the show. Ashley, I, I think this is, I think Ashley and Stormy suffer from the same thing. They, yes. need, they need this like in their life. So I don't yeah. think they're leaving either. Yeah, she definitely wants to be seen. And Carmen called her the HBIC. She was like, well, you're in charge of the girls. You're ahead of all the girls. And Arena was like, she, and she's not. And she's that's not. Nice. I love that Arena spoke up in that moment because I was like, okay, Arena, you, I know you ain't going to sit there. Arena was like, she's absolutely not. And mm -hmm. then Carmen was like, so who do you think um, is in charge of the girls? You? And Arena was like, let me tell you something. She don't control me. Okay. Like basically, Arena wanted to say it's me, but mm -hmm. she wanted to make it very clear that. And then even Winter was like, "Baby, no, she not. She ain't in charge of me." But then Winter talk. They were all again going back to what I was saying with uh, Carmen. They were Ashley and Arena were talking about Carmen 
Joy and Cliff being this thruple because of this video or whatever. Winter ain't say nothing. She was like, mm, I need to refresh my drink. But then she finally, she enjoyed, you know, joined the conversation and said, well, you know, what do you think about people saying, I mean, you don't, you're not um, thinking about the optics. Don't you think it kind of looks weird or whatever? Then Carmen said, what's up with it? Like you, um, you don't want, you don't want it with me. I was like, Carmen, you wasn't doing all of that with Ashley and Arena. Why are you like pumping your chest up with Winter? And I think that now that I've seen this interview with Winter, I think this is a scheme that production be setting up to come for Winter because that's not even Winter's personality to be like ready to fight or whatever. And I think they're constantly trying to take her out of character. And Winter was looking at her like, girl, it ain't even that deep. Like, I will leave if that's the case because I ain't about to be up here throwing hands with nobody throwing bows. That ain't my ministry, okay? But then Carmen pipes down a little bit and she's like, you know, people need to stop saying that because I have a man and he was actually on the trip with us. I'm like, but he ain't no lip in the videos. And Ashley was like, I think y'all just like the attention. That's why you're doing it. But all of this is just dumb. If this is y'all's story about them being a thruple, about Alicia being a sidekick, I'm going to need y'all to come better. And Ashley, I see why you're not on Potomac because this is very boring. And we already get boring from Robin and, and Kankles. Just we Ashley. already got them. Like, we don't need to yeah, add we any don't more. Need, we don't need any more of it. Um, Kenya Bishop says, look at y'all content creators going to knock it the F off with the Menta jokes it's crazy to me that people actually believe they will disclose his private information huh i think she's watching from the beginning about martel oh but what we gotta knock it off oh okay all right can let me say this because i feel like she's watching from the beginning let me add to this and mm -hmm. i'm gonna say this the most polite way that i can oh. okay all right the most is politest way that I can. If y'all are going to find if people got marriage license, if they're been to jail, if mm. why don't you think this information would be out? There's no different. That's true. From the people going to look up marriage license, business license, who got a P P P P P P loan? Like it's no different. And I also feel like too. Do I feel like the line should be drawn? Because we've talked about this, and that's not for us to deep dive into that. But we said what we said, and we moved on. We ain't went and looked up nothing. We ain't trying to pull nope. no case courts. We ain't did anything. So this is not to deter people from commenting. But I do feel like if we didn't take it there. Why are y'all taking it there? That's true, because I'm and not that's ever... My two cents. That's all. Yeah, we ain't about to be cussing at nobody in the comments. That's for damn sure. Oops, I did. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Ashley loved what Carmen said. She was eating it up, smiling, and agreeing. Yeah, because she really do thinks that, thinks that she's in charge of the girls, and she is absolutely not at all, okay? Yeah. Um, but y'all, that it wasn't really nothing going on on Love and Marriage DC. You ain't missed nothing. I mean, you should met, um, and all of that is just really funny to me when we see Winter and Yusha together because they ain't together no more. So it's right. like, I feel like it's a waste of my time even seeing any scenes with him. And, um, Winter actually said, Sherelle and Alfred are not coming back to the show. Right. I can see that. I can, I can see, see that because Sherelle is very like, yeah, I don't have to do this. I uh, can see that being true for them. Yeah, but Ashley will definitely be back um, yeah, for sure. I agree. All right, y'all. Moving on, okay? Um, and thank you, friend, for that very healthy way of addressing um, yet another troll. But you, uh, uh, other troll here, you better be glad you ain't get blocked and, and banned, okay? Next time, come on out, okay? But, um... Just to piggyback off of what my friend said before we move on. We only talk about things that we see because I, for one, do it because I want to I want to get y'all reactions. I'm, again, not going out looking for this information. I'm not. Because, baby, I promise you, I don't give a fuck. 
okay? <laughs> to that extent. Correct. I'm going to come on here and talk to y'all about it and see what's going on because we're obviously watching these shows together. But um, yeah, I, I'm not I'm not going to nobody's warehouse. I'm not looking. And no, you know, no shade to the people that do. Hell, everybody finds it entertaining at some point. But I do think that some of that stuff is just a bit, a lot of bit too much. Yeah. Just too much. These people on TV, not for us to be stalking them. And that's that on that right. period. Um moving on, Real Housewives of Potomac. Oh, Lord. Season eight, part two. Y'all, is NECA the new puppet? Mm. Okay, expound on that for you. When you say puppet, t- tell the people what you mean. I mean ventriloquist, dummy. <laughs> I mean <laughs> Ashley and Giselle and Robin have shoved their arms up her ass so this season <laughs> and told her what to do. Um, Neka, we know you're a fan. We know you are. So for if you are as intelligent as I believe you to be, because you are a lawyer, you yep. should have watched and saw that they had you come on here as a setup. You were the chocolate skinned woman that was to save them from colorism. That's what yep. you're here to do. You are a puppet and you fell for a hook, line and motherfucking sinker. Okay. Yep. And this whole shrine story, baby, I know you didn't think that was entertaining. This is crazy. <laughs> you lost your mind. So now one puppet leaves, which is Candace, and here comes you. They thought it was going they were going to be able to have Mia as their puppet, but Mia said, Oh, baby, the peoples mm-hmm. love me and my they drama. Love me. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I don't have to be uh, a part of y'all bullshit. I can just do me. I can just live up, play up all my drama because I got a husband and a boyfriend, you see, and people love that. They so love I'm it. going to be on here lying still because I do be lying, y'all. But I am, you know, tr- very truthful about most of the drama that's going on. So I don't have to be up the green eye bandit's ass because guess who's sitting front row next to Andy? Me. Charlie's. So, Candace, I am so glad that. Candace Dillard is not here for yeah. season nine. I'm glad that she's left. I'm glad that now these women are going to have to do their job. Yep. Um, Giselle is probably still not going to be held to the fire to do her job, but mm-hmm. it's going to, the ratings are going to go down even worse and it's going to get to the point where now Giselle's going to get her ass fired. Yeah. So I think, I think when it comes down to NECA, because, and I know we jump into the end, but since you brought up, I'm going to say this part. Girl, you've been quiet all of part one and part two. Period. The entire time. And then I guess the people say, girl, it's your time to shine. Come on, we finna get to come back with your segment and you all in the back. Oh, I'm going to talk and I'm going to say this. What are you going to say? Girl, you ain't gonna I'm say no. social media, and I'm going to light it all. Girl, you're not gonna say anything. Mm-mm. You have nothing to bring. You're not going to say anything. Uh, but to the puppet thing, I agree with that. I do feel like they used her, mm-hmm. and because even when Neca made the comment, oh well. Well, what is the problem? They said we need to address the problem. They were talking about colorism. Like, mm-hmm. well, let's start there. What, what is that? Come on. We not feeling great to sit up here and make it seem like you don't know what the heck they're talking about. Like, come on, Neca. And like, you get a preview. Don't fail the open book test. You're getting a preview right now with Candace and Wendy. You're next. They're going to do the, you the exact same way. Exactly. Exactly. You got to fill an open book test for no reason. NECA and her deep voice. I don't really care about anything that she's talking about. She in the back, well, I have to come back on the stage and I have to I have to talk because I, I don't want them to just think that I'm just sitting here and I'm not doing it. I have a lot to serve. And Mia was like, girl, look like you just watching the show. Go ahead and like the video, child, because you was watching the show. Okay, make sure, you, make sure you subscribe to our channel, honey, because you just watching the show. And by the way, uh, shout out to the 56 people. Y'all all likes the video, and I done told y'all several times, okay? 
we don't know who you are when you like the video. YouTube, make sure that you remain anonymous. So like the video. It ain't going to hurt you. And we still ain't going to know who you are. So if you're in the bushes, you will remain. Just go and like the video so it can push us out into the algorithm so we can get some more people to watch behind the flower bin with you. Okay? Thank you. Please and thank you. We appreciate it. But um, Giselle, I believe would have tried Mia, but Mia is the type of person that, oh, yeah, you're not going to spray me with my own tea. I'm going to go ahead and put it all out there because what y'all don't do is put your business out there. I'm going to put mine all the way out there and show and show my four fingers, not five, and I'm going to take the reins of this show. And friend, to add on to that, Giselle ain't worth a good dog on. Mm. Last season... And I saw somebody say this, and I was like, dang, this is a good point. Last season, she accused Mia and her husband of embezzlement, right? Mm-hmm. This, on a reunion, this reunion, you called her another gold digger and said, oh, it just seems like you're just going to Ink because he ain't got no more money and Ink is more established. Mia, why are you friends with her? Why are right. she calling you out every season and you keep running up behind her playing these games? Why? She called you out twice. I would say, first of all, I got two men to your one. Period. To your none. Come over here and hire me a kid from the playground and tell him, hey, just don't embarrass me on social media so I won't have to come over here and explain why you're kissing another woman. Giselle, words not mine. Look, yeah. just wait till the season wrap so I can do a post and say we're not together. We haven't been together for a while. Like, Giselle, please, baby. Come Girl, on. her rental boyfriends is not working. And this that man, he never was checking for her. First of all, yeah. you're old. And he likes, I think that Jason likes white girls because he was messing with, um, uh, uh, what's her face off a of summer house that just got dumped by her fiance, Carl and, and Lindsay. So he got Lindsay pregnant and she ended up having a miscarriage or whatever, but he liked white girls, needless to say. But moving on, um, I agree. Giselle, I think that Giselle just she don't have no story. And Mia Giselle is not your friend. They don't care. Robin ain't your friend either because Robin, when you simply explained, I have a penthouse in DC. Uh G has he's moving across the street. And then Robin, like, well, and I hate how Robin always try to sound like she don't believe somebody, so she want to ask extra questions. Do you ask Juan Dixon these extra fucking questions? You dumbass bitch. I can't stand Robin. Robin annoys me. You want to ask everybody else all these questions, but you wasn't answering any questions until you got your ass on Patreon. Not at all. You didn't even answer the questions because Giselle no. gave you little kitty questions. Chat, right. And Andy didn't even push with them, which pissed me off. But you sitting up here asking her, well, we when we came to visit you, we were in Atlanta. And then she tried to make it seem like Mia, I don't know if Mia caught this. She tries to make it seem like Mia don't uh, take care of her children. Because when you brought up Atlanta, you were, clearly we know that that's where Ink is probably staying. Mm -hmm. So with you saying, oh, the kids were in, you know, North Carolina with G or whatever, and then us kind of seeing G basically has the kids a lot on the show. You over here trying to insinuate that this lady out here frolicking and with her right. pussy E all around the town and not taking care of her children. Robin, you need to stop. I saw right through your bullshit and I mm -hmm. call you and I raise you. Get your own story while you riding hers. And then with that with the Robin, like I feel like some things just be quiet about. Yeah. Especially with the Chris situation, you inspect the gadget, you with the magnifying glass out on his pain trying to see if you can figure it out. Or so, did you have these questions for one? Exactly. These questions, but no, you over here fighting and scrubbing up to the mountaintop to plead why one is so innocent, why he, why you got this vacant space behind you. Ain't this cold back there? Ain't you tired? 
every Can season. You know Mind you, Robin, uh, Robin, your man was on camera. You don't know what my husband's dick look like. Thank so you. how do you know if that's his dick? It may be brown. It may be white. Who knows? But mm -hmm. it ain't my husband's dick, and it ain't got no head on it. You know what did have a head on the body? Juan's fa uh, face in that camera at MGM when he was paying for that hotel room. Hey, Juan's yes, face in that video at the laundromat when he was folding up another bitch drawers and not yours. Juan at the nail shop getting press-ons with another bitch that that don't look like you but by the way he did say she was beautiful beautiful but didn't say that about you so baby please don't ever come for me that's what pissed me off about candace though you sitting up here apologizing to giselle apologizing to robin and robin try to squeeze out let me show girl, you girl. she try to squeeze out the slightest little tear I've never been called a colorist. Girl, I was like, baby, you didn't even cry over one dick set. Not just trying to grab these little pieces of a pierced tear to come at your ass. Girl, boo and boo and bye, Robin. You sat there and wasted our time the entire season. You have not, not shat going on, girl. Nothing. Bye to you. I don't care. You didn't even muster up enough of a tear. But Candace, this is who you thought was your friend. Yep. And I would have read the fuck out of Robin. There is, I'm so pissed at Candace for sitting up there crying. And I know that it's, she was probably emotional. Um, I feel like Candace was on some hormones or something. I need her to come out and confirm that. Because if you wasn't, sis. You you really you really did a doozy on us, and I'm pissed that you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Let's move on to let's get back to Mia. Because we're gonna come back to Candace and Robin and them. Mia said that she was upset. What are you? I'm gonna tell you my thoughts and I'm gonna get your thoughts on this. Mia was upset that Candace and Wendy did not call her when um news broke of her divorce. Mm -hmm. Let me say something to you, baby. You smack me in the face with your pocketbook. You can kiss the ashiest side of my chocolate ass. Fuck you. Wait, what do we get to talk about? What do we have to talk about, baby? Cause and I don't and I don't give a damn about y'all talking about some. Oh, but y'all were bumping coochies and did a no 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 no. That's me being cordial to you mm -hmm. because we're on this TV show together. You know something that you don't do, Giselle. You know how mm -hmm. you wasn't talking to nobody all season. You felt like you could just sit over there in your own little corner in your own little chair. You can be whatever you want to be. You think you can do whatever you want to do and not talk to nobody. That only applies to you. I, as if I was Wendy, you're not. She can't do that. Because y'all always targeting her and Candace. But we're going to mm -hmm. move on from that. Let's focus on the bigger picture. You so sad that I didn't reach out to you. But why did your husband only reach out to me and Wendy? I mean, yeah. Candace and Wendy and Karen. Why? Because those were the people that you're at odds with. So you didn't fuck with them either. Yep. Yep. That's exactly why Gordon reached out to them and not Ashley, not Giselle, and not Robin because mm -hmm. he felt like those were your friends and they weren't going to talk about it. He knew as your husband that you ain't fuck with them. So you don't fuck with them. Why am I sitting up here expecting a call from you about my divorce? Baby, you full of shit. That, that's what you are. Your thoughts, friend? Same thoughts. I... I... I motion it. That's second that emotion because here's the thing. I, I agree. But you're not going to bump me upside my head and try to molly walk me and think I'm going to see you a text and say, oh, I see that you and Gordon are going through some problems. Baby, that's the last thing I'm worried about. Yeah, I don't give a damn. Reach you. And for you to say, if the roles were reversed, me or you're lying. You, you would not. And I'm going to tell you why. When Chris and Candace was going through that mess with Giselle, did you reach out? No. Did you say, girl, I'm sorry this is going on? Even when the girl came down and said, hello, mess, did you reach out? Because no. before Gordon did his little TMZ moment. Did you reach out 
when Giselle and Robin were trying to make it seem like uh, Eddie was effing somebody from his That's firm? Cute. Did like, you reach out to her, to Wendy? This is like what Wendy and Candace ain't like, oh, y'all better than this. Remember, I would be rolling it out just like that. And, and where were you, antennas? Exactly. But your husband was going through something, but you going through something. Oh, we need, the world needs to stop. Like another eclipse is going on. So we can go over there and see what Mia doing. Exactly. And Mia, you sat up there and tried to perpetuate this whole BS about, oh, the only reason why Wendy got her body done is because she's trying to keep her husband at home because he out here cheating. Well, baby, what? How, why did you get your coochie, your lips? Because the picture that we seen of how you originally looked, that ain't the woman that stands before us. Hey. So what was your reason for getting your several surgeries? Y'all can have several seats and kiss my ass, so what? You're not going to sit up here. That was their way of trying to bring it up. Just like they did with Monique. I, I saw some videos where people were playing videos going back about Giselle and her trying to say, she always talking about don't talk about children. But you brought up on the show that Monique's youngest son tried to make it seem like it was the trainer's kid. But you try to say, y'all brought it up, not me. That's a lie. That's mm -hmm. a lie. Because when you went over, I, they, I saw the scene where they went over for the trip to go to Newburgh, to Monique and Chris's house in Newburgh. And Giselle was there and Chris was like, oh, you haven't seen the baby. This was when um, the little boy, the youngest, mm -hmm. was a baby. And she was like, oh, he's cute. And she, he was like, don't he look like me? Mm -hmm. Now, that didn't right say, hey, you said my wife was fucking a trainer. Mm -hmm. Hey, you said my wife had a baby by somebody else. It just says, hey, don't he look like me? Mm -hmm. You read between the lines of what that you meant, it but it didn't you. say it for the public. But you, Giselle took that as ammunition. She said it in that year's reunion. She was like, well, I th you guys, I wasn't going to say nothing about it, but you guys brought it up when he said that. That wasn't mm -hmm. bringing it up. G yep. Giselle is full of semantics, like she does consistently on this show, saying that Chris made her go into a hotel room, and he did not. And then you try to take it back and say he didn't, saying that uh, Candace didn't say anything about her daughter, because uh, Wendy didn't say anything about her daughter becoming an AKA and how she, you know, what does she think about that? You didn't say it. You are such a liar. From and the then pits I of hell. that they're having both Wendy and Candace like they really trying to play us like we crazy on it. Like yeah, they trying to play us. And even to the Giselle situation when um she was crying about her father. Well, let me back up first and about the child situation because this is what made me think about it. You know, it's my child. Who's next family with my child? Once you do something, like it, to me, it'd be the crazy stuff. Because it's you, people need to bow down and stop and pretty much praise you because you and your child finna go off into the sunset because you finna drop her off to college. What? She is the biggest gaslighter. And my thing is, Giselle, what have you done in society for anybody to give a fuck about anything that you're doing? You're and not nobody, girl. And that's what makes me mad again about Candace because I want to say, and that was my husband. Right. My words will always come back and eat your butt a lot. And, and that was my husband. Yep. You must be glad all I knew was made to face. Yep. Period. There you would be that be the least of your words. Then all I made was a face because my words would be like, and baby, that was my husband. But that didn't stop you. There would be no way that Giselle or Robin would ever think that they could eat me alive. I just yeah. felt like, and, and Giselle said, and I was the one that was there for you with the whole Monique situation. No, you wasn't. You did your, you try to do your whole scene with Monique when Monique was sitting down and trying to apologize to y'all for how that ended up. And you came in there with your bodyguard talking about, I don't want to be seen with you. And you trying to make a little exit. And Monique was like, okay, that's fine. You can leave. Um, Everybody else. I loved when she did that. But Monique, I'm going I'm to pause you too, because you was trying to be their friend, sis. You was trying to what? be their friend until they really, they went on ahead and tried wow. you to the 10th power and showed you their worth, okay? And did what? all of that to disrespect you and malign you and make you look like a fool. 
But she got the last laugh. If anybody left, I would love to leave the way Monique did, embarrassing the hell out of Giselle because she sat yeah. the whole reunion looking at Andy. She couldn't take it. Baby, that neck was getting bigger and it bigger. Was, out of it. Woo, that geriatric <laughs> neck. Yeah, that neck was in a retirement home. It was sagging so low. But it was it was just a pure thing that, Candace, you actually started this because with the whole Monique situation, because when they all met and said, okay, well, you guys know about um, the trainer and just and Monique and the kid or whatever, that's probably not, you shouldn't have told Karen to tell Monique. You should have went and told her yourself. Yeah. And she keeps hanging her hat on. Well, you know, I do. That's the only thing that I feel like I'm wrong about. But that's what spiraled all of this. Because then Monique didn't trust you. Because if I'm your friend and you didn't come to me, I would be looking at you sideways like, well, what the hell else are you not telling me? But and she's trying to hold on to the uh, Monique trying to, I mean, Candace trying to hold on to the fact of saying, but I told them that would never work because they look just alike. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything because you knew that this is what they were trying to do and you still didn't come and tell me as my friend. Now I'm looking at you sideways. But here's the thing. I don't know if that was enough for me saying that my child belonged to another nigga mm -hmm. and saying it loud and wrong will always topple the fact because my family come first. Baby, I'll deal with you later. Right. Family come first. Mm -hmm. I'm giving Sharice Giselle or Robin, no, and Ashley, because Ashley was at the table too. But Ashley somehow always get removed from the mess and look like she's just this innocent bystander. Mm. Ashley's the same woman who accused you of being of a drunk, drunk. But y'all, buddy, buddy, that's why I don't see it for Monique like that. People go up for Monique and she had the right to be Monique is just as shady and backstabbing, just like everybody else. Oh, no, she wanted to be seen. That's why she tried. You you were able to... Monique was very wishy-washy. She yeah. struggled with wanting to be seen and to get... She, I think she really wanted her own identity so bad outside of Chris. And this was her way of doing it. But then she realized behind the scenes that this was actually hurting her marriage being on the show. And she wasn't being... She wasn't shown the way that she really thought. We saw her for her worth. You Correct. are the one terrorizing your husband in the marriage because you are so busy, thirsty for attention. And you got to be a thirsty mofo for attention to come and let bygones be bygones with two women that are constantly being disrespectful to you and making up stories about your marriage. And I just don't agree. literally destroy you. Like, literally trying to destroy you in front of you. And again, mm -hmm. let me say this with Candace, because I said the same thing with Neca. I'm going to give Candace this same lashing. You failed the open book test. Baby, you saw what they did to Monique. Exactly. How you run over there and fall for the same thing? You, you, you thought you had one. You thought that you were exempt, and you were not. I just really feel like, you know, Candace should have went Again, I stand on that. She should have went and told Monique, you know that these women are constantly targeting yeah. people's marriages. So you, the, the intent is already proven from what they've done previously with Karen and everybody else on the show. And and um, Sharice, you ain't really fooled with Giselle. Let's let's keep it a whole they book. even like each other. Because Giselle sat up there and said you was fucking with a, a um, fireman knowing good and damn well you couldn't really. And she kept talking about your marriage, knowing that you couldn't talk about it because you were going through a divorce. Now, what type of friend is that? But yep. yeah, you want to join forces with her because behind the scenes, she acting like she likes Karen, but trying to bring you on the show to antagonize Karen. Yeah. And that gig and your outfit was not getting you fabulosity to get on the show to put up with for Karen to put up with your bullshit. Yep. It wasn't going to work. She, that's why even for Sharice, she's for me, Giselle isn't hiding her hand. Mm -mm. She's showing the girls what she doing right out in the open. Why are you overlooking it? Like she's showing y'all all the backstab. As soon as you turn, matter of fact, he didn't got to turn around. I'm going to get you in the front. So you know it's me. And then I'm right. like, like the victim. And say, how dare you be 
be mad at me because I crossed you. I think that they feel like they need to be Giselle's friend because she's in charge of the girls and she has all this. But this season and the ratings tanking, the network yeah. values the almighty dollar over whatever they ever thought that Giselle could be. So yeah. if, if that was is their mindset, I encourage them to shift it because Giselle is going to see a parting of ways with Bravo at some point if she don't get herself together. And going back to NECA, NECA, when I say you're going to be the public uh, puppet this uh, next season, if you make it back, because if you do get to come back, you are the target now, baby. You now they're going to be talking you about it. your womb that ain't working. They're going to be talking to find out whether your husband is fucking the nurses at the mm -hmm. hospital and making up shit. I'm just like, like, oh, he ain't never at home. He ain't never at home. He traveling. You sure he ain't got another woman? Yes. You sure he ain't got no kids somewhere else? Yep. Neca, you are a pawn in their Ponzi scheme and you are going to fit that same fence that y'all talk about Karen always riding get ready because you about to saddle up on it NECA and then you're going to really want to try to be Wendy's friend and now you won't want to be the Nigerian sisters no bitch my, I'm in the shrine with my mother I'm in the shrine with my mama bitch don't play with right. me remember we evil over here go on out yeah, yeah don't um, you telling the people so right. why you want to be over here with the winning team speaking of winning team shout out to eddie for making two million dollars in six months did y'all see um y'all when the man came out and andy asked about his business and he was like for us all to be over for six months i made yes. two million dollars and in six months right over there to giselle and robin I bet, you, you, I bet you Wendy going buy herself a house in um because she lives in Frederick, which is pretty economical um in, in Maryland. That's a that's you can get a big house for less money. I bet you she go buy uh, I hope that this doesn't spark her to try to live above her means because yeah. Wendy sparks me as a she strikes me as the type of person that tries to do that. And don't think I'd have forgot. Uh, seasons ago when they was talking about y'all had a million dollars worth of student loan debt. So I hope y'all took some profit hey, from I'll that to that. pay off them student loans, baby. Yeah. Okay? So that, that, do that. Do that. Okay? But yeah, shout out happen. to them. Um, You know, I'm glad that they're doing well. And I want that for them. I want I Wendy to be able to be like, and catch that tea, bitch. I still got more money than you. And you still getting your house fixed. Still, and to add on to the money, while we're talking about the money with mm -hmm. Candace, baby, that's a big deal for you to spend six figures out your own pocket and you still going in Dior and buying up all the purses and the bags and the shoes. Exactly, period. And they can't stand it, they cannot stand it. Can't so, stand. What, you, what you think Gordon about to come out here and tell us? Nothing really. I think that it's a play up, and when he actually speak and show it, I don't think it's going to be anything. But what I'm thinking it is, because I saw this somewhere, I can't remember where. I think it's going to come out about the paternity of the baby. The well, he ain't no baby of the little boy. Um, I don't think that. I think he's getting ready to say that he has like prostate. I hate to say oh, that. He's sick. I think he has like he's sick or something. That's what I'm thinking because she's crying and um. You know, I don't know if they're playing it up, but she was so adamant about this IUI. And a IUI, I looked it up, is basically where you have to get a sperm sample from your husband. It wasn't like they had the kids that they have off of, like, just them having sex or whatever. Right. It was, she got um, basically inseminated to have mm -hmm. this baby. So that's why she's so confident that it's his kid. But some people are like, well, girl, you could have already been pregnant. Because you yeah. was screwing them at the same time and you could have just utilized the fact that, hey, well, he don't know because I could have been inseminated. I make sure I get inseminated around the same time that I thought I was pregnant with homeboy's kid. Mm -hmm. So all in all, um, I don't you know. <laughs> Lee said, Wendy husband bringing in money, not cheating and showing up for his wife. That part. Juan dick everybody down. Doing nada. How's the hat sale? Hat sales going, Rob? Child, 
Robin been capping all season, but ain't talked about not one cap that goes on your head. Okay, check that, Lee. I appreciate this comment okay, right here. How is yeah. that hat sales going? Absolutely. I how is that? How why for come? How we doing that? I love it. Shout out. You know what? And, and let's talk about Robin real fast. Robin, one ain't got no job, man. And got a piece of one. If you can't even encourage him to come on here and play Sambo so y'all can get this 800000 Now, y'all, I would, I don't understand how y'all go from that townhouse to this house and not try to secure the bag. Yep. I know your hats ain't selling that damn much because you always miss an inventory and it's sold out on the damn website. You, you should have told him, this is your job now. Yep. You come on here and I don't give a damn if you don't want to. You support me, you motherfucker. And I don't give a damn if you still mad at me because I lost your money. I got money now. Yeah, let I it go. earned that let money go, back Emma. and then some. So stop playing with me. Come on here. Do what you're supposed to do and knock it the hell off. That would have been my conversation with him. But yet he tramples over Robin so bad. It's sad. So bad. I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't bringing women in the house and sleeping in the basement and saying, girl, just look away. You you know what it is. Child, the disrespect is on brand with them. Say it. Say it. But anyway, <laughs> what's, what's your expectations for part three? Um... I think that's when K gonna come out. It's already showing some sneak peeks that they're blaming with Candace for a fight. Oh my god. So um I think we're gonna spend a lot of time of Mia and Gordon and then the fight. That's what I'm thinking all of and then of course Nika and Wendy is gonna have their little spat. Uh but I think majority of it is gonna be about Mia and Gordon and uh the fight. I, I hope that we get in this because first of all, let me start this by saying we ain't need three damn parts. This was we stupid as hell. Uh, we, we got to stop dragging it out. I think they dragged it out because the season was so terrible. It's like I looked at um, the ratings. The ratings that they're getting for the reunion was the actual ratings they were getting per episode last um, season um, for the show. Mm -hmm. So now they're getting those ratings. So these ratings on the reunion should actually be double what they are or yep. essentially 30 to 40% higher than what they're portraying. So it's, it's just sad to me that, that this season was absolute trash. I think that in part three, we're going to get a lot of wasted time on this shrine story. Uh, we're going to, you know, God forbid something's really bad with Gordon, but we're going to, uh, be very long-winded about that. Yeah. I want to see Candace fold that triangle up for one and get that last little tear duct dry and give it to Robin and Giselle. That's what that's what three parts would be worth it for. You got her looking crazy the first two, but then she wake up and then be like, you know what, you mother. Uh, I'd rather her do all that. A uh, leash on them up. Uh, let yeah, it go. I, let I, it out. Yeah. I, 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 this look, this Candace crying over everything. It's like, girl, why are you crying over these hoes? They never liked you. Let me say this about the cry. I do feel like a lot of her crying is because she don't know how to articulate what she's wanting to say in the moment. Mm -hmm. And she gets tears because she's so freaking frustrated. Right. That's my opinion. Now, I agree. She definitely needs to cut out this doggone crying so much. Yeah. I also think it's because she can't articulate what it is she's trying to say. And, and for me, let me say this. I don't be serious for real. Mm -hmm. I think from watching this part one and part two, I think she was so frustrated at the fact that y'all are really trying to sit here and make me be boo-boo the fool and make mm -hmm. me take the blame for everything. Yeah. I can't, I can't win from freaking losing. Even when she cried about uh, Giselle's father passing, so, so nobody can't be empathetic. Right. Like, even when you was like, okay, she know what they could imagine being losing a parent. Oh, she just trying to make it about her. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm going to cry for you know, situations. Of, oh, don't you worry about it. Don't worry about it. Child. 
I, I, I'm over it. I'm, I'm over. I'm just so sick of them trying to justify the stuff that Giselle does. It's unbelievable. She has absolutely nothing to talk about. And, you know, Candace was right when she tries to weaponize her children against them. I'm so glad that she called it out. Giselle, your daughters are beautiful, but girl, we don't give a damn. I'm trying to tell you that. We don't. You're not doing anything with your kids that nobody else on any of these other franchises are doing. And if your kids can't be your entire storyline, because, again, we don't give a damn about that. Nobody they knows. Doing it every day. It ain't even on TV. Yeah. They're doing it every day. Yeah. Girl, what? It's not you, special. Like, it's a good thing, but we're not going to make it seem like she's about to be the president of the U.S. of A. Like, she going to college as what a child do when they leave high school. That, that is the route that they usually take. What are we doing? What are we, what are we doing? And you try to fake this whole, then they come out with the thing about Jason and she's like, yeah, I'm going to go see him tonight. No, you're not. The girl he was kissing is going to be at his house. Not you. Okay? And why would you want to go see him tonight? And he, uh, why would I want to go woman? see him? Girl, you and these rolls on your neck need to stop lying. She's lying. <laughs> lying her ass off. Lee says, I think me and Mary Gordon for support because her boyfriend was in love. The, her boyfriend she was in love with was broke at the time. Now she's over Gordon, got her check, and now has, has an excuse to leave Gordon. I hope he's not sick. Yeah, I agree. I think that I can see that um, Ink wanted to go and live his life, and she was still down there uh, at the steakhouse getting ten thousand dollars from gordon and he sold her a dream i think gordon did have money um but i think he pissed it away on mia and other women like mia um i think that that's why the brothers involved him in their business so that he could have a means of gaining more income um i don't know if his brothers were upset of how mia was portraying herself on the show and they may have thought that that wasn't a good look for the chiropractic business and they didn't want it to be associated. I'm not sure if that's why they kicked them out. But um, I don't know what's going on here. But Mia definitely is like, oh, your dick don't work. Because remember, they weren't having sex because he had, I think he alleged, I'm going to say allegedly. And also, I don't remember. Um, I think he had like prostate cancer or something like that. But anyway they couldn't have sex so she was as often as she would like because he getting old they're 40 some years apart i guess i don't know 30 mm. years she apart. don't even know she, like, she don't know, know. She don't know how old she is i know they 20 plus years apart got to be yeah. and so he didn't want her to be miserable so he's letting her you know screw around but i also think it's because gordon ain't got no money so mia is like you know what you ain't fucking me. You ain't got no money. And you think I'm supposed to stay here and take care of you? No, so baby. I don't come into this for that. I don't feel sorry for me uh, and the, oh, I'm having to take care of him. Here's another situation where you saw what was going on in front of you. Baby, if he's coming in there five days a week giving you $10,000 every day, help you and me $50,000 and sitting up in here all day. Mm-mm-mm. What do you think that his good business money was going going to if he in here crying on your shoulder? Exactly. They giving you ten thousand dollars three or four days after week. To me, that should have been like how much money you say? Right. Why do we get so much? And even with the men that do go to the strip club. Baby, they getting ones and they got five thousand dollars and they ain't even throwing out all the fives. Exactly. They not even throwing out all of it. Like he's giving you his kids dog on trust fund to fund you and your new coochie. Like, what are we doing? And clearly feel sorry for because you saw the writing on the wall. Girl, please. No, and I I don't think she feels sorry for herself. I think she just feels lucky that. This just ended up like it did, where she can now yeah. be with somebody that she really want to be with, and you know she's on in a position where she's on a show making a good, a substantial good income, money. and this kind of just worked in her favor. Where because Mia really at first it was like, okay, why is she coming back? Mm -hmm. Like this whole Jacqueline story is kind of like, eh, all right, I'm over it. Yep. You know, 
But y'all, like, next season is going to be interesting, depending on who they bring back. So I, I think would tell me. Do, go ahead. Uh, Atlanta. They're going to do an Atlanta. Oh. Put on pause. Yeah. I they think probably need to be put on pause. I think that's best. Yep. And I will want, I literally, I think they need to like really shake this cast up. Mm -hmm. Who would you, who would you like to see come back? Um, I would like Karen to come back. Karen yeah. is over the girls. I'm sorry. I know people don't like Karen, but Karen <laughs> is in charge of the girls. I would definitely bring Karen back. Mm -hmm. We said this before and I agree. I would actually bring Robin back. Mm -hmm. But I would bring her back as a friend of the show. I don't yeah. know if she, even if Giselle is gone, I don't know if she still have enough to be able to, I wouldn't give her full glass or stem, whatever it is that they have. Mm -hmm. um, I actually will bring Candace back. I will bring Katie back, but I know Katie is a liability, so I know she'll mm -hmm. probably never come back. I would love to see Katie, Katie back. I would love for Kate, what's her name, Calendra? Kiana. Kiana. I would love for her to be one and uh, Ashley can go and I would actually make Wendy a friend of the show. That will be my cast. Really? So Candace, Karen, Katie, Miss K, Robin, I guess if we have to have, because it's like five of them, how many? Oh, and Mia. I bring back Mia. Okay. I think Mia got it. I think Mia got yeah. what it takes to be it. And I make Robert a friend of the show, and that'll be my cast. Tell me, let's 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 dive into this uh, Wendy as a friend. Tell me what, what what made you come to that conclusion. I like Wendy, but Wendy ain't bringing nothing either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And only time Wendy gonna get activated is like when we saw when they tried to come after her about Happy Eddie, as she should, because that's her husband. Find somebody gets to play with them. Play mm -hmm. with them. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know if she's that appealing to see her start a podcast. Um, mm. I, I feel like Wendy needs to go find herself, then come back to the show. I think she want to get out of this box of I'm more than just this political commentator. But I think that's your strength and play on it. Yeah. Like I think that's like that's like Tony Braxton wanted to make Beyonce type music. Why? We love Tony for the sad heartbreak. This is your right. strength. This is what sells you and makes you millions. Stick with it. Ain't no wrong with someone like a different side of you, but her trying to come into something that I don't feel like is really her, I think it comes out not being genuine. And I think yeah. that's why a lot of people can't relate to Wendy because you came on being stern I talk at um, what was the college she kept naming off? I'm a professor at uh, the Johns Hopkins University. John Hopkins, you know, stay. I didn't know. Mm hmm. You got 15 degrees. Now what? You know, talk to her is. Why are we mad because a black woman is giving her accomplishments? Yeah, I don't want her to talk about them degrees no more, though. Like, girl, leave the degrees on the wall, baby. But I'm not mad. But I would. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm proud of her. I am. But yeah. girl, you all. You, Wendy just been giving us nice outfits and body, and yeah. and that that baby that ain't going for it next season. You got to come on. You got to come on with a little lot more than that. Okay. And I really wish for me, if she wasn't going to have the storyline, I would have rather her because you you main cast. Mm hmm. There's no reason why you were eating up Giselle and Robin at every turn. There, there's no reason. My sentiments exactly. That you were eating them up and securing your spot every year. There's no reason why. Yeah, I agree. Can I, say, I want to shout out to Lee because Lee is in my head. Because I was going to say this, but I was like, let me pull back. I ain't talking about the kids. But I cannot stand that thick eyeliner Grace put up on oh. her eyes. And her dry ass, she she grown now, y'all. We can talk about it. <laughs> I cannot stand. Oh. I cannot stand, baby. Please, where is every hue? Go find 
you some. And girl, she used it the rest of it and it went bad. It, 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 so bad it was too. sitting on the shelf too long. So she just gave it to her kids. But yeah, that that girl, that eyeliner kills me every time. I, I be like, oh my god, please no, please no. Ugh. But yeah. that's all we got for tonight, y'all. Any other good. any other words for the people's friend? My last words, and we'll talk about it more in depth next week. I think that Potomac is really ready to hit a hard stop. And Candace leaving, whether she got fired or left, but in my opinion, I think she left. I think she sat on this stage and said, Oh, baby, I ain't finna do this no more. Y'all can yeah. And I think they finna ready to see how Candace probably carried that show more than they willing to give her credit for. Yeah. But I will dig deep into that next week. But that's my last sentiments and thoughts. Yeah, I agree. I um I don't know what's to come of this franchise, but it's it's not. It's not given what they thought it was supposed to give this season. And it really, we really have to pay attention to that and do something yeah. about it. And Giselle is not the captain of the ship for this show. And this shows very clearly. You need a, you always have to have a cohesive cast. Yeah. We have to have women that are able to get over things, yeah. not a woman that is trying to constantly control other people because they, at the end of the day, all of these women are grown. All of these women are accomplished. So Giselle, you got to get your mind off of Hampton university's campus leading the next, uh, you know, whatever y'all call it when y'all getting people to come the next rush, yeah. you're not leading a rush for anybody to join your sorority, ma'am. You're not the captain of the girls. And even let's just keep it a buck. You you living in old times because people ain't rushing to them sororities and fraternities now. Because we got social media. People yep. people did that to get gain friends to be seen yep. to stand out. Now you don't got to do that to stand out. All you got to do is put your ass and do the Megan the Stallion challenge on Instagram, uh, the Megan and Glow challenge, and there you go. Everybody see you. So Glow. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So with all that being said, and, and, you know, no shade to Greek organizations, that's just, this is just reality. You know, yeah. it's not, it's not, yes, it's prestigious, but it's just not what it used to be. Mm -hmm. It's not given what it, what it used to give. It's not yeah. the draw. Everybody's not pressed. So Giselle, stop. Cause mm -hmm. everybody is not pressed, honey. They're yeah. really not. So that's all I got to say about this. Uh, yeah. I, I'm really mad that these people are doing all this for $2,500. And with that being said, y'all, <laughs> let's get on up out of here. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you so much to my amazingly beautiful co-host for coming up on here and hanging with me this evening. And y'all, y'all know what to do. Go on to Deep Conversations with Sean. Like a couple of videos and watch them. And go on subscribe before you start being nosy. And go on hit the like button over here before you leave out. Because this is on both of our channels too. So go over there and like this same video on her channel. Subscribe. And uh, we're going to see y'all next Tuesday, 9.35. Be there or be square with $2,500 per episode. All right, y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching and uh, peace. Bye, y'all.